before jumping in, let's cover some basics. In this particular build, I have decided to go with a half meter long, 10 to 12 millimeter diameter wide EKWB solid tubes. They are cheap, sturdy, good quality, and easy to handle. Compression fitting wise, I'm going with the usual quarter inch uh, diameter ones, and I am using a mixture of EKWB and Beats Power. I'm doing this because I did not have enough of each for the entire build. Installing a compression fitting on a solid tube is easy. Simply follow the instructions on your screen and always remember to go first metallic ring, o-ring and then compression fitting. Once they're all in place, you can secure the ring onto the compression fitting and that should deploy enough pressure to give us a watertight seal. See, even if I try to remove it from the tubing, it's not gonna give up easily. So that's a good fit. All right, so now I am going to put on a 90 degree female to female adapter to show you how to connect two solid tubing in a right angle. Again, not much magic there. Just make sure that uh, when securing your adapters to the compression fitting, you do have a finger tight contact to avoid any kind of leaks. Next step, we're getting serious, the cutting. And before doing any of it, make sure to precisely measure what you need. Uh, if you cut too little, you are going to spend more money than needed. I find Dremel's ideal. Uh, to cut tubes and before doing anything live on your build i would suggest that you do train a little bit on a spur tube other than that it's pretty straightforward so simply look at how i'm doing it on the screen and you should be set the most challenging part of solid tubing is probably when it comes to smaller parts so here i'm going to show you how i am installing two compression fitting on a very very small tube and again, nothing magic in there. Simply take a good look at your screen and make sure to train as many times as you need. It is very important to have a watertight fit at every extremity and that our compression fittings are well tightened together and individually. If you don't do that right, of course, you're gonna find yourself with a massive leak at the very first fill. So go slow and make sure to be confident in every step we've seen so far. Other than this, well, let's jump right in. For our loop to work, we will need to connect different components together. And that includes the reservoir, the water pump, the video card, the radiator, and the processor. And to do so, we are going to connect them through our solid piping. And in order, the loop will travel from the reservoir to the water pump, to the video card, to our 360 millimeter radiator to cool the water coming out of our video card, back to the CPU and from the CPU back to the reservoir. So let's start with the tubing between the reservoir and our water pump. And to do so, we are going to need a female to female 90 degree adapter, a male to female 90 degree adapter, a 40 millimeter tubing and its fittings, and a 30 millimeter long tubing and its fittings. Note that this will be connecting the output of our reservoir to the input of our water pump. And as for the input of our reservoir, we are simply going to put two 45 degree angled adapters. All right, so this is a time to start our loop. We have on our reservoir an in and an outlet. We are going to put the 45 plus 45 degree adapter on the inlet. And as for the outlet, we are going to dismantle the little tubing thing we built uh, so that we can have more space at this stage of the build. Next step is to connect the reservoir to our water pump. And here we are going to assemble not only the connector, but also add to it a draining valve, which will be very useful uh, when we are going to service our loop in the future. And what it should look like once assembled on one side, the reservoir to water pump connector, and on the other in red, the rest of our fitting mounted with a draining valve. At this stage of our build, I am going to take granted that you know a little bit more what you are doing, and I am going to go faster. Here you can see me connecting the water pump output to our video card. Nothing very fancy, simply make sure that you measure every pipe and so that you cut them right. Next, we are going to put the two plugs on our video cards to ensure that we do not have any obvious leaks. Again, nothing very difficult here. Though I will point out that it is very important to, to tie them strongly because this is where most of the leaks usually take place. Moving forward, we are going to connect the GPU to the radiator. 
And again, you want to make the measurements which works and fit your build, but nothing very complex here. A couple of adapters here and there. The whole thing is try to keep your lines as straight as possible. The straighter your pipes are and the less chances you'll have to see leaks in your build. Now the next connection, the one from the radiator to the CPU is a little bit trickier. So I'm going to take the time to break it down for you and show you every adapter that I am using and even the measurements of the pipes. So if you need to pause the video, make sure you go step by step and do not rush in any way, shape or form. The more adapters we use, the more chances we have to see leaks. So make sure to tighten them and secure them well individually. When I'm dealing with more complex tubings, as it is our case right now, I usually like to start by the extremities and to secure the whole thing through the middle. That is an easier approach and I can better appreciate if the length of my tubes is correct or not. Also, when installing your tube, keep in mind that you will have to put more power supply cables behind them. So make sure to leave some leeway so for your hand to better do the job without disconnecting them. Our next step and last part of the loop is the CPU to reservoir pipe. And again, because it is a bit more complex than the usual pipes, I am going to go on a step-by-step -step listing all the adapters needed. But again, nothing that you haven't seen so far and by this stage of the build, you probably know what to do and what I'm going to send next. Worth noting, as about right now, it's gonna be pretty difficult uh, to put new stuff in your build and install that last pipe. So make sure to really go slow, not bumping into anything or disconnect any uh, existing pipelines. So again, go slow, you're almost there and don't get too frustrated. Uh, the hardest of the build is behind us, thankfully.